Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wohler. I've talked before in some previous videos about oxytocin. And the reason I talk more about oxytocin and keep bringing it up is there's more and more research that's showing that for many individuals on the autism spectrum, a lack of oxytocin plays a significant role in their inability to socialize, uh, increases anxiety, and particularly affects their ability to recognize facial expressions as well as voice cue emotional recognition. So the ability to recognize the difference between a sad voice to a happy voice to somebody who's being inquisitive, etc. And the same thing with visual cues as well. You know, being able to recognize the difference between somebody who's smiling, somebody who's frowning, somebody who's happy. So oxytocin plays a significant role because it helps to activate various parts of the brain that are involved in the manifestation of those abilities. Now, there's a link between cholesterol and oxytocin. And if you understand that there is actually a, a, a number of individuals, particularly kids on the spectrum, who actually have very low cholesterol, um, sometimes less than 100, you know, the lowest I've seen in my practice was around 65, which is extremely low, and understanding the link between the two. And you can actually get cholesterol, total cholesterol, from any lab. Um, I mean, any reference lab, hospital, clinic can run a total cholesterol on your child. And it's important to understand that cholesterol and oxytocin are linked because cholesterol is an activating uh, chemical for the oxytocin receptors in the brain. So if your child doesn't have enough cholesterol, um, their, their own brain's production of oxytocin is, is not going to work as well if they don't have enough cholesterol activating those receptors. And those receptors are these lock and key mechanisms in the brain. The brain is activated and nerve impulses are generated through the brain by receptor um, interaction with various neurochemicals. And so when a chemical attaches to a receptor, it's a lock and key mechanism and you have to have the right lock to open the door. And once that door is open, you can get you know, a flood of a chemical information that is transported throughout the brain. And so oxytocin actually needs an adequate amount of cholesterol, cholesterol activating the oxytocin receptor in order to work appropriately. So again, oxytocin is very important with respect to facial recognition, voice cue recognition. Um, it helps with anxiety and just that social bonding. And cholesterol is very important uh, one of its functions is to help with that oxytocin receptor. Okay, so you can check out, you know, have your child, you know, just a, a simple blood test of total cholesterol, see where their levels are. We usually like to see the levels around 170 to 180 to be optimal, um, and that's a, a simple thing that you can do and talk to your doctor about that. Okay, thanks.